The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Fresno Grizzlies and the Albuquerque Isotopes. Digging in, Luis Garcia. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Pulled toward right center field. Here's the center fielder. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Striding into the box, Drew Mendoza is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. A little roller toward the hole. Reined in. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in the bat next, the catcher, Wellington Castillo. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. That is cool. The first baseman, KJ. Standing in now, KJ Harrison. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. And Owings will make the play there to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Daza. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-1. Now that's popped up. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Peter Mooney. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hernandez will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Here's Chris Owings now. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Now the 2 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Now to the plate, Nick Banks, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Up high, two and one now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Three and one to him now. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. In now, Yadier Hernandez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And the versatile Mac Williamson hits next. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The one two. Banks stands at first with one out. Two two pitches fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
batting it. Now batting Jake Knoll, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Skied into straightaway right. Abreu is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Ready now, Michael Tolia. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Batting fifth, And now, Mike Gerber. Two and one. Count two and one. Count even at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Weak grounder down the first baseline. There's one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Striding in, Colton Welker. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Even at a ball in the strike, here's the pitch. A pitch out, the throw, and boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. The 2-1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Bottom of the second here with no score. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home, and he loses him on a breaking ball. Stepping into the box, Drew Butera. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. The one two is laid off for ball two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to get in, but you can't be too cute either. Full count three and two. Now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed strike three. Coming to the plate now, Willie Abreu he comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. One and one. Here it is. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Will Crow. Nine, one, and two do up. Swing and a liner. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now back. At the plate now, Luis Garcia. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Has a look. Now the pitch. Fouled away. The next one two pitch and here's a ball hit in the air left fielder is on the move and no one will track it down. Hey that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count from the stretch and he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastballs in there and that's out number one. Now that 
Digging in to try it again, Drew Mendoza. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Change up, fall to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the third now, and next will be the pitcher, Chichi Gonzalez. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jonathan Daza, over one for him here in this one. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it threw in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. At the plate, Peter Mooney. He flew out in his last at-bat. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Now back, second baseman. At the plate, Chris Owings. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Full count still. The 3 2 one more time. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, KJ Harrison. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's 2 and 1. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Stepping into the box, Nick Banks. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Line drive to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Now back. Into the box now, Yadi Hernandez. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. And it's fouled away. The one two lifted the other way out to left center. Ani can't track it down as this ball falls. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. The left fielder. Into the box, Mac Williamson. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and set to go as the second baseman Chris Owings this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in but that hasn't been the case into right field that's a base hit Standing in now, Michael Tolia. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Into the box now, Mike Gerber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 3 2 pitch. This is skied into short left center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batting. To the plate now, Colton Welker. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. He's falling behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Set. Here's the three and two. Hit on the ground to third. And there are two away now. Now at the plate, Drew Butera. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Jake Knoll. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Now that the pitcher will throw. Stepping in now, Will Crow. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Nobody out, runner on first. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. There's one on to first, and it's a well-turned 3-6-1 double play, and quickly there are two gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Luis Garcia. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Grounded to third, scooped up. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Digging in, Willie Abreu, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. A 1 1. It's strike two swinging. Two, 1 2 is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's 2 and 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Bases are empty, one man in. Line toward the alley in left center, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The batter, the left 
So now to the plate, Jonathan Daza in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in and looking for more, Peter Mooney. A hit in two tries for him so far. Peter Mooney. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit out towards second. Field it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ready once again, Drew Mendoza. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Wellington Castillo. It was a walk in his last trip. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Tim Melville enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. K.J. Harrison will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. The 1-1. One, one. Nope. Hits are even right now at five aside. Fouled off. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Digging in once again, Nick Banks. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. A three and one pitch. We got three balls and two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. The next three, two. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two down runners at first and second. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Now back, left field. At the plate now, mm -hmm. Mac Williamson. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Hit high and deep to left field. Back on it is the left fielder to the track to the wall. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Ashton Godot, the right hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Number 58. Into the box now, Jake Knoll. Slapped hard the opposite way. Oh, and he misses it. The pick will throw. Standing in now, will throw. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. Mooney is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Striding in once again, Chris Owings. It was a single for him in his last at bat. 
This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now back, first baseman, Michael. Into the box, Michael Tomia. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hernandez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. At the plate, Mike Gerber. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. The 2-1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Mario Sanchez, a six-foot-one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Mario. Stepping in now, Colton Welker. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. The Drew. To the plate now. Drew Gutierrez yeah. takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder, the third double zero. At the plate now, Willie Abreu. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Williamson's under it and he makes the catch for the second out. Vance Viscaino will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now. Lays off two and two now. Two men are on with two men out. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Ben Bowden will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. New inning set to get underway. And stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Luis Garcia. The 1-2. Misses above the zone for a ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Third baseman through Mendoza. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Yeah, that pitch is the equalizer. Left on left slider, down the way. He can spot it up when he needs to. That pitch is almost unhittable. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. 
lifted down the line in left. In comes the left fielder, but this will land untouched. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The catcher. Stepping up now, Wellington Castillo. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Line towards center field. Gerber will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Last half of the seventh here, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jonathan Daza. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Into the box, now, Peter Mooney. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Mooney. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Banks is there, two gone. Digging in now, Chris Owings. He's two for three thus far. Two out, nobody on. Outside, two and one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Count full, three balls and two strikes. That's popped up, now towards short right field. No is there, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, K.J. Harrison. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that misses, 2 and 1. Ball 3. And it's full now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? Daza, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now with the plate, Nick Number Banks. Seven, Nick. Getting late Banks. four to our score as we play the eighth inning. Swing and a line drive, but foul. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Oh, and that liner caught him. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. Now that is right here. Yadiel Hernandez. In now, Yadiel Hernandez. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Standing in, Mac Williamson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Yeah, that last at-bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. A ball and two strikes. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Sam Freeman is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Jeremy De La Rosa is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 22. The uh, 3-1. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. 
trying to pick things up where he left off. Mike Gerber, he's two for three and looking for more here. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Garcia stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Stepping in, Colton Welker. Third baseman, Colton Welker. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Stepping in, Drew Butera. Last time through was a base hit. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Willie Abreu would be next. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do anything. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Tim no, Collins please. will come on now, and he'll he's slide he's into the seven him. spot in the lineup yeah, following the double switch. Seven. Chris Rabago will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 55. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Ready with the one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Standing in, Luis Garcia. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that the third base Drew Mendoza. Standing in now. Drew Mendoza hit in the air out to center field. Gerber is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So digging in now, now Wellington Castillo. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And he misses two and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series. And maybe. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. David Hernandez takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 30, David. So stepping in, Willie Abreu. The 2 2. Hernandez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Swing and a liner, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Into the box now, Chris Rabago. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Garcia over to his left, one down. 
So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jonathan Daza. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Grounded weakly toward third. He's got to hurry to second for one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Grizzlies wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Will Crow earns win number seven on the season. David Hernandez records the save, his 32nd of the season. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans are finalized for first for the victorious Grizzlies. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. For the Isotopes, two runs, ten hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 47 minutes.